Welcome back Shark Kings. This is going to be a very short video and it's for the newbies out there. A lot of people got a PS5 recently, so this is a beginner's guide to how to navigate PS Plus Extra. Now, if you're like me, the first thing you do is you go to PS Plus Extra and then go right to games, right? That all makes sense. But here's the problem is all these games are premium and I don't have premium. I have PS Plus Extra. So I can play that one. I can play that one. I can't play that. Can't play that. Can't play that. No. Yes, yes, and so on. The problem is there's no filter here to sort them. Like show me only extra and not premium. You can show the platform, which ones are for VR, which ones are just for kids. Like there's great sorting options here. You can show, wow, this is kind of cool. You can see a uh, local multiplayer and online multiplayer. That's kind of neat actually. Hmm, interesting. But the one thing that I need is not here and that's show me only extra games. Why are you showing me premium games? So if you're confused like I was for the first few months, here's what you do. When you click on the extra menu, don't go all the way to games. You can just go right here benefits and that benefits you'll see games catalog it will say hundreds of games and then you click on this and check this out look at that no premium games no ps3 games this is only the extra games so you can play every single one of these games you can also do this in a different menu and that's if you come here to latest it will say check out the latest games for you and you scroll all the way to the right and say view all this will take you to the same games and while we're here in the latest tab, if you want to see just essential games and not extra games and not premium games, all you have to do is just scroll down. It will say monthly games. Click on that and then make sure to claim them. So if you're new to extra or new to PS Plus, you have only one month to claim these games when they're announced. If you claim them, they'll end up in your library forever. See, look at this, add to library. So that game will be in my library forever. Well, as long as I still have a PS Plus subscription. But if you don't claim them, you see here it says offer ends January 7th, 2025. If you don't claim them by that date, that game disappears. So if you didn't just press this one button that says add to library, you'll never play that game again, unless you buy it, of course. Sometimes claiming the game is interesting because you'll get a different pop-up menu. So if I go to Temtem, now it says in cart instead of add to library. Let's see what happens if I press in cart. Confirm purchase. I mean, the total is free, but that's really weird, isn't it? So there you go, confirm purchase, and now it's in my library. I could go download, and then it will be downloading. If you want Tem Tem Timu Pokemon. Actually, we don't want that. Uh, no, thank you. Uh, cancel and delete. So now it says in library or purchase. So make sure to claim your monthly games if you're new to PS Plus. And if you want to see your games on extra, once again, that's benefits, game catalog, and then view games. And if we go back, you saw that too, didn't you? If you go to benefits, monthly games, that's another way to view your games. And if you have any questions about it, it's all explained down here. The next thing, we might as well go over it because it's very important is you go to collections tab and you go down until it says last chance to play. So these games are leaving. All these games are leaving next month. No, this month. <laughs> so out of all the games in the catalog, these are the games that will leave the soonest. It doesn't matter if you claim them or download them. Once they're gone, they're gone. Only essential monthly games will stick around forever. So if you have PlayStation Plus Extra or Essential and you don't have Premium, this is what you can do to preview what you get from Premium. So you're gonna go down and it will tell you, oh, pay me a little bit more money if you want Premium. Well, what do you get with Premium? Well, you get a bunch of extra things like the Classics Catalog, that's like PlayStation 3 games, but more importantly is Game Trials. So these are games that are brand new that haven't even made it to Extra yet. So if you're thinking of upgrading to PlayStation Plus Premium, click on this, it will take you to the preview page so you can actually view the games that you don't have access to. So these are all the PlayStation Plus game trials. You can try these out, I think for a few hours. So all these games are generally brand new games or newer games that haven't made it to PlayStation Plus extra yet. But as you can see, a few already have. Like, look at this, Hot Wheels Unleashed. That's the game of the month, isn't it? 2K23, um, that PGA game was, I think like of summer of last year on Essential. This one's on extra, that was an Essential game. This one just left extra, Midnight Suns. Let's see what else is in here. Trek to Yomi was an essential game. Weird West was available. Death's Door was available. Let's see, Grime is leaving this month. So you can scroll through these and see if there's a game that you really want to try and see if PlayStation Plus Premium is worth the upgrade. I don't think it is.
Before we move on from PS Plus Premium, the other benefit that people love is cloud streaming. What this is, is instant access to hundreds of games. What does that mean? Well, let's view the games. You'll notice that these are the same games from the PS Plus Extra catalog. Actually, the PS Plus Premium catalog, because look, we got PS3 games. So what's the difference? Why do they look the same? Well, the premium advantage is that you don't have to download these games. That's right, you can play them instantly by streaming them. If your internet connection supports it, go for it. Why download it if you could just play it? But then again, if you got fast internet, just download it, unless you're running out of space, which is a whole different video. So I feel like the best bang for buck is definitely still PlayStation Plus Extra. So there you have it. Let's go back to the beginning. So if you're over here and you wanna see what games I have access to, just go to benefits and there you are. There's the monthly games right here and there's the game catalog right here. So again, if you click on game catalog, view games, you will see all the places PlayStation Plus Extra games. But if you were like me and you went to games every time, you'll see the premium games. We don't want these games. These are the old games. And that's pretty much it. Just wanted to make a quick video. Let's call it, I don't know, Tuesday Tips, Tech Tuesday. I don't know. What do you guys like? TT or bigger TT? I know you guys all like the TTs. Tech Tip Tuesday, let me know below. This video was more for the super newbies, so thank you for your patience if you're a longtime PlayStation stan. Until next time, be a friend and I'll see you again.